In this video, let's use the concepts we learned from Hess's Law to do a bond dissociation energy problem. This is a problem that we will be solving. For this reaction, please calculate the change in enthalpy. Try this problem on your own with a bond energy table before continuing with the video and seeing the answer. When we do this kind of problems, it's important to look at what kind of bonds are broken and what kind of bonds are created. In the reactants, we see that a carbon-hydrogen bond is broken, and in the products, we see that a hydrogen-bromine bond is being formed. One bond is being broken and one bond is being formed, and we can calculate the heat of enthalpy by finding the difference in energies between the two. We remember that the change in enthalpy is equal to the energy of the bonds broken minus the energy of the bonds formed. In this case, this would just correspond to breaking the CH bond subtracted by forming the HBr bond. From a table, we could see that the CH bond that was broken requires an energy of 85 kcal per mole. And from a table, we can see that forming an HBr bond gives off 88 kcal per mole. Plugging into our equation, we get 85 minus 88 is equal to negative 3 kcal per mole. Is this reaction endothermic or exothermic? Is it favors thermodynamically? The answer is yes, because we're going from reactants that are higher in energy to reactants that are lower energy, and we know that because the change in enthalpy is negative. You might have been confused by the products and reactants because of the radical, the free electron, However, it is important simply to know which bonds are broken and which bonds are formed and finding the exact energies from a table.